Hey, 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 welcome back to Geekasaurus Rex, where today we're playing LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 again. Um, today we're going to be doing another free play mission, but we're going to cheat a little bit and skip forward to High Noon Saloon, one of my favourite missions from the game. Um, so we're going to free play that, and um, it should be fun. Thanks for sticking with me. Nexus destroyed by Kang! Helped by the Avengers, my sources tell me. Sure, they didn't know they were helping Kang, but that's not the point, people. Because the heroes beat the Guardian of the Nexus Man thing, Kang was able to blast it into fragments, enabling him to bring Chronopolis into a single time zone. That's good news and bad news. The good news is we can now get out of Manhattan and see if the rest of Chronopolis has a decent golf course. The bad news is now every creep in Chronopolis can get into our city and slug it out with each other to see who's worthy of facing Kang. Okay, Avengers, you broke it, so what are you gonna do to fix it? Hmm. Seems they've sent a team to the Old West to secure a power source to help boost a strange beyond Chronopolis signal of some kind. Playing no snap. You low down, dirty cheating swine. <laughs> now just hold on a minute. Gamora! Give me your scanner. You two are supposed to be taking readings. Oh, yeah. I totally was. But then Drax found this place, and it had music and... And tacos. Oh. We have to find a negative ion emitter. Your scanner should now pick it up. <laughs> now get out there and start searching. How does it work? See that blinky light? If it don't flash, you don't have it. If it does... Your blinky light lies. I do not have it. Outlaws! What is that? That, my fuzzy friend, is our power source. I am Modok, the ultimate human machine interface, and more importantly, the law! Well, not in my town. Isn't that... Don't ask. This place gets weirder by the day. Bring it! Well, looky here. Got us some outlaws. 50,000 big ones to the first cowboy to put these criminals in chains! <laughs> so, here we go. Now, does anyone have any idea where this uh, Wild West Captain America comes from? I have to mention, it's not something I've seen before in comics or TV shows already. Um, so it's a little strange. Oh, who has got that? Looks like Stan Lee. I wonder if there is mention of this in the Book of Vision. Always good to start making it up. Nothing can keep me down for long. So we're just going to keep smashing everything. As we've said before on free play, we're trying to get that true believer status. Um, and the best way to do that is basically uh, solid destruction. Which is kind of fitting in the world, right? Modok is back by me after a minute. I'm just going to make sure we've collected everything. Um, chaotic in the tent, it's fine, in a boss fight. Swap from Doctor Strange, let's go with Black Panther. I must protect my people in this strange new world. 
You might be shouting, stop picking fights um, at the screen, but um, we're going to pick a fight with everyone we can as quickly as possible and get that way um, when we come to fight mode up. Hawkeye and Ant Man, but I didn't even know I'd lost them to be fair. It's pretty cool. I'm quite happy about that. Uh, ooh, I'm gonna need For the sake of Asgard, I must not wait. I love the character of this game. First playthrough, along with the Noir mission, I love the idea of the Guardian Scouts attacking your weapon. Uh, watching James Gunn, which naturally you are, um, that's what I'm doing in Guardian 3. A uh, bit of time travel, but it's um, going to feel worse than the uh, Star Lord fighting some of these guys. But don't worry, my little friends will help keep you entertained. Oh. 
still alive. Swap out Iron Man, let's see what other characters we can uh, we can have a go with. We haven't really played that much. Mm. I'm gonna have a go with Dormammu. How random as that is. is. Oh wow, that's, that's pretty awesome. Fun, but we're gonna go with someone a bit smaller just for uh... There we go. Oh, that is okay, so that is important. One criticism I have about this game, um, I think it showed it there, is the, the movement of screen with characters. We can just bunch up the gloss and not really see what we're doing. Um, Mario games have really got it covered with keeping the character right in the middle of the screen. Um, have a change of life to see in these games for future reference. Not that I'm complaining, this is the most fun I've had in the game in a long time. Keep me down. Okay, guys, I think we're gonna wrap up part one here. Um, join me for part two to see how the battle goes down and what more we can uh, unlock moving forward. Thanks for.